Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming day and I'm bringing you back for an update. It's been a few days uh, since the last episode. I've been out uh, gathering and hunting and, you know, doing this and doing that. And I uh, thought I'd bring you back for an update. Uh, let's turn our light on here so we can all see a little bit better. Uh, so one of my main goals uh, for this episode is to make the frying pan. And so that's what we're going to start doing. Let's uh, Let's turn this off. I've been running that to try and get it most of the way back up we've also hit a few locked crates so here is the footage from that Okay, so uh, yeah, let's get our frying pan going. Uh, so the frying pan is going to take four ingots, 25 zinc fragments, and five adhesive. So we have one ingot here. Uh, there's our five adhesive. And then to make those other ingots, we're going to need... Uh, how many? Wait, how many do we need again? Four. Uh, okay, so we need to make three more. Okay, so we need 30 iron... Um, Wait, right? Iron? No, zinc. No, 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 no. We're gotta make these first. Sorry. Scatterbrain, scatterbrain. Okay, yeah. 30 iron. Here, let's just grab all of that. So we need to make uh two no, three more of these. Okay. That'll take care of that. And then once the ingots are made. Um, we can then make the frying pan, which is going to require 25 zinc. So let's split that in half and split it in half again. Uh, here, split one. For whatever reason, we can't click into the thing here. Uh, I made a whole shit ton of gunpowder, so we have like three and a half stacks of gunpowder. It's just the casings that are really hard to come by. I mean, I know I can make them, but they're so damned expensive. But we might have to bite the bullet, uh, no pun intended, or maybe there was a little pun intended, and uh, start making a bunch of that. Okay, so one more ingot here, and then uh, we should have everything we need to make our frying pan. Uh, so I was told on the... I did a live stream last night, um, and I was told by some people on the live stream that the frying pan is you want for protein in the boiling pot you want for carbs and that does kind of seem to make sense because this is all carb stuff with maybe the exception of the chicken stew um and then you know we'll eventually make the baking pan too but it's like really expensive so that's probably like you know super 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 good food uh however these look like hash browns so hash browns wouldn't really be a protein thing so i don't know uh, but we're gonna find out here real quick okay here we go boom baby we have crafted ourselves a frying pan. Awesome. Awesome, awesome possum. Let's eat this before it goes bad. I've been, you know, spoiling a lot of meat because I continue to hunt, you know, so I can get hide and uh, oil for biofuel. We have over a full stack of biofuel now, and there's going to be a little bit more in here. Oh, it's time for an attack. Uh, let's grab our magnum here and uh, go show these people the error of their ways. I've been using my magnum more often now because I got quite a few bullets for it and I don't have a lot of bullets for my rifle at present. Let's come around here. Oh man, how in the hell did that miss? Sometimes, man, this game, I'll tell you what. Uh, we need to talk a little bit too about... There we go. That was a good headshot about Charlie, the big base, and some problems I ran into with them. Where are you? There we go. That one I think I did shoot a little bit off to the side. Let's take a bandage here. So that takes down three of them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll, it's, it's, I'll go, we'll go over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about because it'll be easier to show you. But basically we need to do some more work on the other wall there. 
Okay, we got one magnum bullet back for our trouble. And then where did I kill the other guy? Right over here. Okay. And they left us a few arrows. Always appreciated. And we're going to have to do a little bit of repairing there. Oh, another arrow too. Look at those fellas. How nice of them. Okay, so let's go back in. And I'm going to... Let's grab stuff to repair with. We'll put the magnum back in here for now. Uh, along with those rounds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, those can go in there. Those can go in there. All of this can go in here. And we got some zinc to go in here. Uh, Alright. Now, let's grab our hammer. And some nails. And some wood and some planks. And I'm also going to grab these two walls, extra walls here that we have somewhere along the lines looted. Okay, so let's go repair. There's a copper up there. Let's go repair up here first. Uh, I'm going to check and see if there uh, was any damage over on this side. Sometimes they hit this. Oh, shit. Uh, well, not enough to really waste a nail. Sometimes they hit this side too. Um, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape over here. So we'll go over here. Oh shit, I hear a bear somewhere. It's a level three. Dude, will you just... Get the hell out of here. You know what? I don't have time for this. Just don't have time for it. Yeah, should have left. Yeah, should have left, Smokey. Hey, at least we got a full compliment there. Okay. Let's hit, uh, get this all repaired here. One hit there. This one got banged up pretty good. So far, I've been, still been fortunate enough not to lose an actual structure. I mean, not on our walls. We, that did happen on our base a long time ago when we got attacked once or twice, but uh, that needs some attention. That's okay, and that's okay. Did we look at this foundation? Yeah, let's tap that one more time, too. that there okay what about this thing that thing is in good shape foundation there's good oh we already checked the uh well here let's tap that uh did we check this yes let's check this platform it's good and that stairs is good and that stairs is good okay let's go over to this side so what ha what's happened a couple of times now when uh, I've been attacked on this side, and it's usually Bravo or Charlie that attacks me on this side, is they actually go up on the hill and they can shoot down at me from up there. And there was one time when the hunter even actually jumped over here and came down into the yard. Now, it's not something they do deliberately necessarily, or all the time, I guess I should say, uh, but they did uh, do it the one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some... We're going to make this a double wall. Like so. Um, and probably... You know, I probably should do this all the way down. So let's see. We need one, two, three, four, five more pieces. Uh, oh, i got to get uh, some twine. Okay, so we'll make five more of those and then come back out and put those up. All right, so... Um, I don't know. I think I've shown you guys... The outside of the base, but I went ahead and uh, we have two uh, windmills now, as you can see. So those are cranking and giving us a little bit of juice with the wind, so that's good. We have four solar panels up there in the two gardens. Uh, but I also kind of put this side shield on the house for two reasons. One, to actually act as a shield, and it has been hit once or twice, but um, the, the front of the house has not been hit at all. Uh, so we've been very fortunate with that. Um... But also to kind of provide a little more support for the balcony hanging it, hanging over uh, up above, just because 
you know, it looked like it needed more support. It was just hanging out too far without any support. So that's kind of, you know, that was just, that's more of just an aesthetic uh, role play reason or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I like it better. So, all right, cool. So we got that done. Um, we need to grab some of this. And I said we needed five more walls, I believe, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Oh, shit, we got to make boards now. Oh, so we got three of those. So we need to make... We should probably do make a bunch of boards anyways. So let's at least make as many boards as we can with those logs. Um, and then I'm going to have to probably go out and get some more wood here pretty soon. We have over two stacks of... Or no, uh, over a full stack, I should say, of hide now, which is good. And we should also make a couple more bandages. I like to have at least three bandages on my toolbar. All right, that's done. Look at that. Over two full stacks of nails. Isn't it a beautiful thing? It is a beautiful thing. Okay. Let's put uh, this in here. Split this up. Put those in there. That's going to go in here. All right. Now, let's see. We're going to put the hammer back. We don't need to carry that around right at the moment. And uh, this can go back here. And those... Uh, oh, yeah. We're making... Whoops. We're making the boards right now. Okay, now, um, let's grab our frying pan. Look at that, baby. Woot! And we're going to put that in the equipment slot. Boom! And now we can fry stuff. So hash browns require potatoes and onions. Um, let's make one of those just to see how nutritious it is. Surprised it doesn't want me to put like animal fat in there, you know, like for the grease, but it doesn't, so that's fine. Okay, so we'll make one of those. This is liver and onions. Oh shit. Does the liver have to be raw? It would seem to suggest that, but we should try it with the cooked liver to see. Uh, I have raw liver in here if it doesn't work out. Let's actually try it with a cooked liver and see if it lets me do it. Just out of curiosity more than anything. Okay, so we got a cooked liver there. Um, okay, so liver and onions, we have onions and a cooked liver. No, it looks like it does indeed have to be a raw liver. Okay, so let's just grab one raw liver here, and, oh shit, power. Damn it, Jim. We, uh, we need, we need power, man. We need the, we need all the power. All right, let's load this guy back up. takes power to cook these fine meals. Um, okay, so we got the hash browns. That gives 22 fruits and vegetables. And then 0 .08 health, 0 .09 stamina. A tomato gives 22 fruits and vegetables. So this isn't any better than this, except for that we get the extra health and stamina, which is significant, but it cost us... What did it cost us to make that? A potato and an onion. Well, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So we just have to wait for our power to build up, and then we'll do... Uh, we'll cook some liver and onions and see what uh, that gives us. Man, how low was our power? Holy shit. It was, like, really down. My goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this raw liver back in here for the moment, just so we don't lose it. And while we're waiting for that, let's make um, a couple more walls. And we'll go finish our um, our little project outside there. These nails back here. Okay. Put the onion back down there for the moment until... Because I guess we, we have to wait. Okay, now we have enough power. So that's going to take two onions and a liver and let's cook her up and we'll see how nutritious this is and then we also have steak and eggs that requires uh, steak and well eggs which we really aren't going to be able to do on a regular basis unless we start raising chickens which we probably will honey glazed pork and vegetables Ooh, I'll bet that is pretty damn nutritious hmm you know, we're probably going to have to, well, not necessarily. 
Uh, I was gonna say we might have to have two fridges, but I mean I have so much cooked meat in here. It's too bad we can't use the cooked meat in these high-level dishes, but it looks like we can't. So we're gonna have to. Um, oh crap! The fires went out. We're gonna have to, you know, start eating some of these up, or maybe even throw some in the the bio generator. Um, just so that we can. Wait, are you making the liver and onions? Yeah, you are. Okay. You don't have some room for the raw meat because it looks like we need to start cooking with raw meat. All right, let's grab two of these. Put one in there and light you up and one in there and light you up. I'm going to grab these matches and put them in there for next time. I usually catch it before it runs out, but this time we didn't, so it's all right. We got the stuff. We got the stuff to deal with it, man. Okay, liver and onions is almost done, and there it goes. Okay, so what does this give? That gives 35 protein, um, plus 18, uh, 0.18 and 0.19 stamina. Wow, that's really good um, stamina and health-wise. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, let's eat this now and get the, those lines up. We're at 85 health and 83 stamina, by the way. Uh, so we're doing really good. I've just tried to be trying to be really careful and not get into crazy situations so I'm not dying. Because once you die, you lose all of this, uh, all of your a bonus cap, and you go all the way back to 80 again, which really sucks. Uh, okay, this, let's eat this too. And now, there we go. We got a stamina increase. Nice. So, yeah, beautiful. Okay. So this liver and onions... Uh, it's probably going to be the main thing that we'll be able to make on a sim somewhat regular basis. But that being the case, we're going to need to actually start growing a few more onions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half. And we're going to actually <clears throat> start making, you know, um, start growing these more frequently now that we can make this. Because this is some damn good food, man. So between the liver and onions here and the tomato soup here, which, by the way, we can make a bunch of this now. If I do, I'm going to have to sacrifice a stack of meat. Um, but I have o uh, over a full stack, almost a stack and a half of tomatoes now because I've just been growing those like crazy. Uh, so we're in good shape with that stuff too. Uh, I'm curious to try this jam out. Um, I've, I've got a decent amount of blueberries and I've saved a few strawberries. And then we can get the rose hips in the winter time. And just to see, you know, what that's all about. Okay, speaking of gardens and stuff, let's go grab some fertilizer and grab some waters. And actually, we need a drink of water, too. Oh, shit. Do I need to wash my hands? It looks like I do. Yikes. Okay. Um, now, here's something else I was, oh, I'm going to do. I've got a ton of grubs. I've already made 50 tackles that I'm going to use more in the winter time, uh, except for that we, are, we have actually no fish oil at all, so I might have to do that sooner than winter. Um, but anyway, I, I've made up 50 tackles, as you can see, just kind of sitting there waiting for us to go fishing. And, and I just have a ton of grubs. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this in half. And we're going to actually put 50 of these in the bio um, thingamadoodle. All right. So let's see. So we get 65 mass from those. So yeah, there you go. Okay. And that gets up to 170 mass. Let's go up and check our garden here. Whoop. Okay. Doesn't look like anything's completely mature yet, but this is... We got some potatoes, carrots, and tomatoes in here, and this is tomatoes and a little bit of cotton. Um, so let's fertilize that up, and it looks like it needs one thing of water, and just let that stuff continue to grow, and we will, um, you know, start planting on onions... Uh, along with the tomatoes and the cotton. Well, and everything, really, but those are the main things. Okay, so, yeah, like I showed you, we already got uh, a couple windmills going now. Uh, when the winds, you know, picks up, these these generate a pretty decent amount of power. Uh, but right now they're doing 0 .04. These guys are doing 0 .05. And, uh, yeah, supplemental power. It's always a good thing. We still have to run the generator, though, to keep up with stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put this stuff back in here. I had just a bunch of ash, but like I said, I turned a whole bunch of that into um, gunpowder. Let's put these guys back 
in here. Let's eat one of these if we can. No, I, I try and eat these, but they they usually end up spoiling. But that's all right. We're just, you know, we'll put them to use too. Once I get some more fish oil made, you know, we should probably... Nah, we're doing okay. When these get to a full stack, I usually just turn them into fuel logs. So that's probably what we'll do with those. All right, let's go out and put these other walls up. And, um, you know, this should, it'll, at the very least, it should prevent them from being able to jump in here. Uh, though that's only happened once. So it's not something that happens all the time, but still, we don't want it to happen at all, so. Let's put those up there. Oh, uh, did that? Yeah, that went in, right? Okay. Now, they have also, on occasion, come over here and shot at me from there. So, I wonder if I should uh, maybe put some walls up here, too. I probably should. The reason I wouldn't is because if I'm on this side, I usually just kind of jumped out in here from that side. Um, but now... You know, now we're, now we can be up here, and they're not going to be able to hit us from up there anymore. So that should help quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I really probably should put a couple walls here, just because I have been shot at from up there a few times. If we do that, though, like I said, it's going to prevent me from coming down that way. That's not the end of the world, but... Yeah, it is. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So. We should do that. Yeah. I haven't really had any trouble on this side. Um, you know, this side's just really working well. Nobody ever attacks from down here. In fact, I haven't even really seen Bravo come down this way in a very long time. Um, you know, those are the guys by the pond. They usually come up and attack from this side, too. So this side gets... <laughs> Most, well, I'd say about 60% of the action. It depends upon, you know, if I piss them off by raiding them or accidentally stumble on their camp, which happens on occasion. Okie dokie. So, um, the next thing I want to do now is, oh shoot, we, we got to build our power back up. I, I'm going to make a bunch of these. It's going to be expensive as hell, but I just, you know, I'm still not at the point where I feel like I have an adequate amount of ammo um you know we're, we're doing much better than we used to but you know we we have no sur no surplus by any any means uh, i mean i guess we kind of have a few surplus of, of these and these but I, I don't even carry my magnum with me unless i'm fighting you know the hunters so what i want to do is I want, uh, I'm going to have to start making these because I'm just not getting enough of them, you know, from locked chests and those other things. So I think what we'll do, guys, for the rest of this episode is let's go out and just do some looting. Uh, the rut's over, by the way. It, it is October. It's about mid to late October by now. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the elk anymore. Let's just make sure everything's topped off. And then, yeah, let's let's just go do a quick little bit of looting for the rest of the time that I have you with me in this episode. I'll put that in there. And let's top off these guys. I do need to, I need to do, talk enough. I need to go do another big um, wood run too at some point here soon. But... The other thing I've been thinking about is using the plates to upgrade stuff out there, but that's going to be really expensive. How are we doing? Oh, we're actually in really good shape on our, our clothing and armor. Hold on one second. I had to blow my nose, man. It's just bucking the hell out of me. Okay. Um... Don't see anything in that way. Okay, let's run down to the valley uh, for the afternoon. I really, you know, I usually go to one of two places if I 
I only have a partial day to loot. It's either the valley um, or I go down to the birchwood forest because I have, I have such good luck finding locked crates in that area. Uh, but the valley's also really good too. There were some rogues out here a couple of days ago, but they've probably moved on by now. All right, what do we got there? We got some pistol ammo. Been using my bow a lot. And, you know, I, I think I've already shown you guys that I can kill a level 1 wolf easily with the bow. And I can even kill a level 2 wolf with the bow if I have enough room to get three shots off. The problem, though, is that they, you know, they zigzag. They don't run straight at you all the time, and it's really, really hard to hit them when they're doing that. So they kind of zigzag as they close on you, and then, then they come at you when they get in close, and... It's very difficult to get off two shots in that time frame and make them count. So usually for level two and level three wolves, well, I, I'm kind of trying to avoid level three wolves still, but for level two wolf, I'll shoot him twice with the bow and then one pistol shot will take him down. Usually, you know, as long as I, I shoot straight and you know, that's a, <laughs> that's a big if there, right? That can be a big if. Alright, we got a crate over here. So, you know, we're we're in pretty good shape for winter. We got the clothing. The one thing I could make if I wanted to is the sweater. Um, It would give me one more warmth, but I would lose a bunch of protection. So, I think, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to keep my heavy-duty shirt on, and I'm just going to make some heat packs. So, if I really get into some cold weather... um. You know, I'll just use the heat pack because I don't want to give up that protection, especially since we can't wear our vest in the winter if and wear the winter coat at the same time is a thing. So we've, we're already going to lose a lot of protection right there. So if you add the sweater on top of that, you're losing even more just for one more point in, um, you know, cold protection. Okay, that's a level three wolf. Let's leave him alone. There's a level one bear. I, I I know I've already told you guys this, but I try and avoid bear bears if, if I can, just because they are not really worth it, in my opinion. I wouldn't mind killing them more frequently if we got more stuff from them, but and sometimes, you know, you get a full inventory like we did uh, uh, on that one that we killed at the beginning of the episode, but that doesn't usually happen. I'm going to run down to the lake here. I've got to wash our hands. And yeah, we're doing pretty good on crates. More bullet casings. That's what we want, man. Here, let me move these up here. I like to keep my bullets on top just so I can at a glance see what I have. This is some potassium. I've been, um, you know, every time I go to a, a pond or a lake or whatever, or even along the shore of the big lakes, I just take a quick dip and look for pearls because, man, those are expensive. The electronics that you have to make for stuff, you know. And I want to make... Oh, there we go. We got some rifle rounds and some shotgun rounds. Beautiful. Um, well, we have to make, we have to make the baking pan, which is going to be super expensive. I mean, I don't understand why, I, I kind of understand why I guess that stuff's so expensive, just because it it's the gateway to like the really good food. So from that standpoint, I guess it does make sense, but still kind of kills me that the freaking frying pan takes, is so damn expensive to make, but I guess I get it, you know? Anyway, what I was saying is I'm looking, looking for, uh, clams all the time and trying to get as many pearls as possible because you know once winter time comes around we're not going to be able to we won't have access to that because everything will be frozen over so we want to get as much of that as we can right now and I got you know I got about a full stack of kelp so I'm not really too worried about the kelp it's more the the pearls the, that's the main thing is that yeah that's a piece of uh, scrap All right, 
we are losing daylight. Let's just kind of run over here a little bit. See if we can snag a few more crates before it gets too dark. Is that a crate over there? No, I don't think so. Here's some potatoes. We'll take those. There's a deer. Mm, do we want to try and kill that deer? Yeah, why not? No kidding. How did that miss? I know. There we go. Having a little bit of trouble getting the sight lined up with the mouse there. Alright, that's a pretty good haul. Let's go wash off again. One thing you can make, I noticed in the crafting bench, is a, a flashlight for your weapon. I wonder how useful that is. You have to make batteries for it too. So, I don't know how long the batteries last or how big of a pain in the ass that is. Oh, there's some rogues over there. All right, let's stay away from them. What do we got here? Carrot, probably. Yep. Uh, I've only found, like, maybe two cotton plants since the fall started. They are so rare. Just crazy rare. This is probably zinc. I hear a wolf. I don't see him. He's right over there somewhere. All right, you guys. Well, it is too damn dark to see. Uh, you can't see, and I can't see either. <laughs> so I think this is time to wrap up the episode. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to log my way home, which is what I usually try and do if I'm still caught out at night. And we... Uh, shit, we got critters in the way, though. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be careful and try and avoid them as much as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're making progress. We certainly are. Uh, there are more things, of course, that we want to do and experience, um, like the diving stuff and all that. Uh, we are going to, at some point, probably fairly soon, actually, attack Charlie and take down the big base and get all the fat loots from them. Uh, so that's on the to-do list. And... Um, then after that, we'll kind of just see, you know, where we are. I am, I would like to do a season two of subsistence and, you know, do it again uh, from start to finish. Uh, now that we have, you know, this, the first season under our belt and I've got some experience with the game and stuff. I have some plans for season two, especially in terms of where I would like to build uh, next time around. So, yeah, we'll just kind of see how things go. I'm not sure how many more episodes we're going to do in Season 1, but there's a few more coming for sure. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, do you know what to do? Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. See ya.